all right hey guys it's asha welcome to this vlogtober this is actually me from the future because of course i forgot to make an intro i also didn't make an outro <laughs> So you will see me come back at the end looking just like this um, But yes, I thought I would come intro the vlog um, This is the last vlogtober, which is sad that I had so much fun Vlogging and sharing with you everything that happened with me in October all the great books that I read um, But yeah, this vlogtober starts with me um, listening to the Midnight's album by Taylor Swift and then we go into um, a Halloween where I dress up as Carrie um, and had such a good time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and let's go ahead and go to past Asha. getting ready to go to work I listened to the album so good I love it so much it's my kind of music um, it is so good I may be late to work but it was totally worth it <laughs> um, I didn't listen to the full I didn't listen to the 3 a.m. edition because I don't have time but I listened to all of midnight okay so I honestly I liked every single song but my favorites right now are the ones that I know that I liked. I honestly like them all, but Vigilante shit, love it so much. Bejeweled was good. Karma, of course, is amazing. Um, Lavender Haze was really good. Oh, Midnight Rain? Midnight Rain. That may be my number one. I don't know. But I feel like I was truly loved them all and I need to... Um, Listen to it again. Oh, my Uber canceled. Dang it. Yeah, I think I Uber to work because I'm running really late. Um, I really like them all. Antihero? I like Antihero, but I don't love it. I don't love it. All right, hello. I am back from work. Uh, this was a very long work week. I'm so happy it's the weekend. Oh my goodness. I have a package. Yeah, and it's like 70 degrees outside. It is so strange. I don't know. The weather here is so weird. I was literally wearing my winter coat yesterday and now it's 70 degrees anyway it is a book from pango books <laughs> very excited look at this <laughs> i appreciate it so much bubble wrap oh and then it's wrapped in more packaging Interesting. I wonder if they bought it and then didn't want it and then sold it or something. I don't know. But yes, yeah, in another package. Can you see? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. oh, I got bent a little bit. That's okay though. This is huge. Okay, so this is one of my most anticipated releases for the year. Um, it is a horror book. It is called Mary, an Awakening of Terror by Nat Cassidy. This cover is very intriguing. It's a thick horror book. Oh, I'm so curious about this. Okay, so this is his debut novel. It says it blends Midsommar with elements of American Psycho and a pinch of I'll Be Gone in the Dark. I don't really take to heart these like uh, recommendate or when they relate it to movies because it's normally not true. But okay, this says that Mary is a quiet middle-aged woman doing her best to blend into the background. Unremarkable, invisible, unknown, even to herself. Along with the hot flashes and body aches, she can't look in a mirror without passing out. And the voices in her head have been urging her to do unspeakable things. Fired from her job in New York, she moves back to her hometown, hoping to reconnect with her past and inner self. Instead, instead visions of terrifying, mutilated, Specters overwhelmed her with increasing regularity and she she begins auto writing strange thoughts and phrases Mary discovers that these experiences are echoes of an infamous serial killer Then the killings begin again. Mary's definitely going to find herself. <gasps> Ooh, Interesting, so I don't know if this is like a Possession do you see that hand on the Is that gonna focus? The hand holding her? I don't know if this is like a possession story or what the heck is going on, but I am very, very curious. Okay, yeah, I'm really, really excited about this. It is a thick, 
floppy horror book. Now it is almost six o'clock and this Friday night I want it to do nothing. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna chill, have a night to myself. I'm actually very excited about it. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's, go grocery shopping. I have no groceries and people have been bringing in lots of delicious fall treats from Trader Joe's and like teas and stuff like the attendings have been bringing things and it makes me very curious so I'm gonna go have a little look see in Trader Joe's to see what I can find and then come back and we will get all cozy and I will keep I will read some of the bell jar listen to more midnights and maybe we will watch a spooky movie tonight I'm not all sure. right I need to put this book in we have to move the candle I think I need to burn this candle it's almost done okay we will add this here. Oh, my paperback horror shelf. I guess there's a couple hardbacks, but it's getting full. I was making a little Instagram story and I realized I don't think I ever shared this book with you that I purchased, that I bought. I don't, did I? I don't think so. I bought the portable Edgar Allan Poe in the Penguin Black Spine edition. I got this a little bit ago because I wanted to read The Tall Tell Heart um, I want to read like a bunch of his works, but I really want to read the tall, no, not the tall, tall heart. I do want to read that. I want to read the fall of the house of the usher, the fall of the house of usher. That's what I meant to say. Um, because I read what moves the dead, um, by T. King Fisher. And I've been wanting to read this, that short story. Oh my God. I'm like all over the place. So I bought this because I want to annotate and I just love these editions. Hey, hello. It is. I don't know when I last chatted with you all. Let me come here. So there's good lighting. I'm not sure when I last chatted with you all, but it is Sunday, the 23rd. Um, yesterday, Saturday, I met up with a friend and we went to this like spooky pop-up um, bar. It was really cool. I'll insert some clips. It was really fun. And then we just kind of like walked around um, Andersonville, Wrigleyville, I don't know, a bunch of different neighborhoods that I'd never been to. And it was really pretty. The leaves were changing colors. It was like warm out, it was like 70 degrees. It's very strange weather, um, but it was really fun. And then I came home, relaxed, and then I met up with some other friends and we went um, to this place called Azul, which was okay. I think it's, I think it'll be prettier in the daytime because it's like on the water, I don't know. And then we like went out to one place because we were getting old. <laughs> It's literally like 10 o'clock. We're like, all right, that was fun. Let's go home. <laughs> um, yes, and then today, Sunday, I have been having, well, I slept in, which was lovely. I have been just like cleaning, you know, doing adulting things. I was reading a little bit. I just went to Trader Joe's, so I thought I would show you a little Trader Joe's haul because there's some cute things that I want to show you. And then, oh, and then of course, I've been listening to Midnight's. Um, on repeat and I definitely have a favorite song now it is midnight rain that is my favorite 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 song it is so good well wow. I get chills every time I hear it um, maroon is also becoming one of my favorites and then from the extra songs I honestly am not like the biggest fan of the extra songs um, I think she picked the right ones to be on the actual album but I really love Paris and glitch anyways listen i'm talking that let me show you my little trader joe's haul so i didn't get too much stuff i always just get like a couple like a little bit of things and then i order groceries usually okay so these are the fun things that i want to show you guys these fall things so this is this maple espresso black tea that and one of my attendings brought she always does like tea time it's so cute um this tea is really good it tastes like fall and a tea it is really good i highly suggest it i, I should have bought two boxes and then another day someone brought ginger cookies and I forgot how much I love ginger cookies with tea. I was studying abroad in England. We would always have like obviously like the, your afternoon tea which is so fun. And when I ate these the other day I like it brought me back to being in Oxford. It was amazing. But I would always have black tea so I just can't wait to have this little moment again. I got some hummus. I got some ravioli which is like my favorite thing. I always get one of these butter chicken things. They're so good. I got some tofu which I eat a lot of now because it's so easy to cook. These frozen french fries are my favorite. If you don't know french fries are my favorite food of all time. <laughs> um, I saw these seasoned Brussels sprouts with Parmesan cheese. I love Brussels sprouts so I thought I would try these. 
And then I got these Chipotle vegetable quesadillas. I've seen Olivia Reed's a latte. She always gets these, so I thought I would try them. I got a bottle of wine, Bay Moon, Savion Blanc, and then I got some of these. I wanted to try these. Golden berries, I have no idea. I never tried them, so I thought I'd get those. And then I just got a big thing of blueberries because I'm trying to eat fruit, which I have been pretty successful with, like as a little snack if I get hungry, just have fruit. Um, but yeah, that's my little haul. I'm gonna put all of this away now. All right, hello. I guess you can kind of see me. Uh, it is still Sunday. I washed my hair because my hair, oh, I need it to be washed. I have been reading a little bit of The Bell Jar. Um, I am on page now, basically page 60, chapter six. So I've made a little bit of progress, not too much. Um, and I am liking it. I'm not l absolutely loving it. I do not remember anything from this book at all. Obviously you can see I have lots of um, tabs there. So how I tab this one, I'm just doing pink for quotes that I love, purple for quotes that are or things that are happening that I relate to and then blue are just for just just very sad things that she's saying or it's just, yeah just like just sad just sad stuff <laughs> I want I really want to read something spooky I know the book that I want to read I'm just debating if I'm about to commit to this book book that I do want to read and I want to read in October is Slewfoot by Brom I really want to read this book um and even though it's a bigger one I feel like it's a it's a fast read but I just don't know if I'm like in the mood for this. This is like one of the most beautiful covers. I was also thinking of reading The Fall of the House of Usher. So I could read like a little short story. Like I wanted to read that book or that story. Also like I really want to read Mary. I just hauled that yet and I really want to read that book. I also could read Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. <laughs> but I kind of want really read like a spookier book. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to make some tea and then we will, f I'll let you know whatever I decide, maybe, or I'll just keep reading the bell jar, I don't know. I've straightened my hair and I did read the first chapter of Slewfoot and it is so good like it is just very engaging and the characters and the setting and everything just feels so real already I feel like I'm watching a movie reading this it is so interesting first little bit you got introduced to I'm assuming it's the devil. It's just called like a shadow that turns into a beast. That scene was so cool. And then you get introduced to Abatha, who is our main character. She was recently married to this older man named Ethan. Did I make that up? Edward, Edward. Ooh, I don't know where I got Ethan from. Edward. And he is like, so he's actually, he's like nice to her and gentle and kind. Abatha is very like, she wants to stand her ground. She's very like strong and she was in London and then was married off to Edward and then they came over to America and now they're in this like very Puritan, very religious, strict community. So that's basically was just setting everything up and you, you're meeting all the different characters and like the ministers and just getting a vibe of the town. But yeah, I'm going to sit down. I'm making some dinner now. I'm going to read until it's dinner time and then I think for dinner we can watch a spooky movie tonight that sounds fun should we go ahead and pick the movie yeah let's go ahead and pick the movie all right let's pick out the spooky movie that we're gonna watch tonight with dinner i'm excited i can watch i think i can't in the mood for really anything um but yeah i we have quite a few in here 
and it's almost Halloween, so we need to watch it. We need to be more um, watching more frequently. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, this one. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, what is that? Scream! Oh, nice. Okay, perfect. That's great. Super excited to watch this. It's been a while. This is gonna be good. I feel like it's been very re uh, revelant in like pop culture because of that the new movie. Wasn't there a new movie or something that came out? I can't remember. I am getting ready for bed now. I finished Scream and I really liked it. I do not remember anything. Like I do not remember watching that movie at all <laughs> really weird how that happens um but yeah i really liked it a lot i gave it like four out of five stars i definitely want to watch the other sequels now because i think um i heard they're good but that's going to be a later thing and i think i'm going to sit in bed now and read sorry folks read a bit of Slewfoot. like i said i'm really enjoying it at least try to finish the second chapter um yeah, because like I said, I'm really, I'm really, really liking it. It's a fast read. That is all. I enjoyed Scream. I liked it a lot. I'm glad I rewatched it. I definitely recommend it. It was good. It was smart. Um, it was funny. Yeah, I liked it a lot. All right, hello everyone. It is, it is Wednesday, the 26th maybe of October. I um, have some time in between work. I had clinic and then I don't have to go back until like four o'clock. Um, so I came home to relax a little bit and I'm gonna read some of Slewfoot. My camera's dying, so hopefully it doesn't cut me out. But I am reading Slewfoot still and I am really liking it. This is a book that like, I just wanna sit and have no other responsibilities, <laughs> nothing else to do so I could just sit and like, just get super engaged in this book. It is so interesting. Um, I'm really liking it a lot. Nothing much has happened since I last talked to you. We're getting more and more introduced to Slewfoot and his minions his friends his technically his children i guess they're really strange um but yeah we're getting into the plot now about miss abatha i think i don't think it's a spoiler but i think she gets kicked out of her community and that's how the whole thing kind of starts 66 pages in um so yes i will let you all know my thoughts when i read more of it i'm really really liking it a lot a, a dark academia playlist Okay, here's a Spotify playlist called Dark Academia Classical. All right, hello. It is a little bit later now. We have to do this quickly because I forgot to charge my phone before I left for work. Um, yeah, work was fine. I just had my mental health, but this time it was in person. My mental health block, which I really like. I really like, um, yeah, I really like mental health, uh, which is why I'm considering changing my, <laughs> instead of doing hemonk, I don't know, it's a whole thing, but anyways. My, my camera died, so I'm on my phone. Hope it's okay, but I really want to pick a movie, so I hope you don't mind the little bit worse quality. I have some wine. Let us choose our movie for tonight because I do want to watch a spooky movie. So let us see. When I was editing that vlog, the Vlogtober episode two, I forgot a lot of the movies that I put in here. There's some good ones in here. So let's see which one we get today. Cause I do just want to relax with the lovely spooky movie. Okay, this one. Oh. <gasps> Don't look under the bed. Oh, okay, so this is a Cl Disney Channel original movie. A lot of people like, I tell people about this movie. Not a lot of people know about it. Let me know if you know about this movie. Me and my sister would watch this movie and we loved it because I remember it genuinely like creeping me out. Okay, hello. I am in bed now. Finished the movie and it was so good. Don't look under the bed. It was like really like dark actually. Overall, it was like really sweet and like kind of dark like I said and like really intense. I was surprised. But yeah, I really I actually really really liked. It. I definitely recommend you watch or rewatch Don't Look Under the Bed. It was a good time. Hello, 
I am back from work. Um, I feel like my apartment is like a mess because it is. Um, oh, I'm hot from dancing. <laughs> I did my morning clinic. I had the afternoon off, and I think I told you all that normally I'm on my half day offs during my Y week on Thursdays. I go to the movies. But I just didn't feel like it today. I don't know, I just feel like I had too much stuff to do. I need to get things for my Halloween costume. All right, I'm just gonna make coffee because I do not want to take a nap. I want to wake up and I want to um, read. So I think today, today I'm going to read The Bell Jar because I was still reading that. I think I needed a little bit of a break. That's why I started Slewfoot. But yeah, I'm gonna make my coffee now. Finished watching the video that I'm watching, which is Books and Lala's favorite horror books, which I'm loving. And then uh, we will come and read The Bell Jar. I have been drinking my coffee. I finished Books and Lala's video. Um, now we're gonna sit, get the book, and read some of The Bell Jar. Um, I don't remember last time I talked to you all, but I'm on page, basically page 60. I think I, no, I'm on page six of my other book too, weird. Anyways, I'm on chapter six, can't see, chapter six of The Bell Jar. It is a really fast read, you know, it's just one of those things where again, I just gotta sit down and actually uh read it i'm not gonna lie i am finding it a little bit boring like there's still like beautiful quotes you can't see there's still like beautiful quotes and things i'm relating to um yeah but not much is happening right now i mean i'm assuming it's gonna pick up so we will see i will keep you all updated all right so i am now past the 100 page mark of the bell jar and of course, right when I said it's getting boring, it's starting to pick up and I am really enjoying it. I mean, nothing more is really happening. You're literally just following Esther um, in New York. I don't think I ever mentioned what this is about. I feel like a lot of people know, maybe not, I don't know. You're following this woman named Esther and it's, it is very much autobiographical of Sylvia Plath's life. And you're following Esther who is this, um, I guess kind of like intern, she gets, chosen to go to New York and work for this magazine for the summer. And you're just following her life, dating, feeling sad and down, thinking about life. Some of the lines that Sylvia Plath writes are so beautiful. Um, let me try to find some. And some of the observations she makes about like expectation, expectations of women in the 1950s are just, I'm very much like, I feel you, girl. <laughs> like, here's an example. She is talking about there's this guy that um, she used to really like, but then she realized how she calls him a fake he was. And she's talking about his mom and how his mom didn't really, like, she would put in all this work, but it was just, like, to clean the house while the husband would go out and have this, like, amazing day. So I really like this uh, paragraph. It says... And I knew that in spite of all the roses and kisses and restaurant dinners a man showered on a woman before he married her, what he secretly wanted when the wedding service ended was for her to flatten out underneath his feet like Mrs. Willard's kitchen mat. Dang. Oh, another one that I can share with you is another like observation that she made. So the guy that she, his name is Buddy, the guy that like her family and his family, they want to get married. He wants to marry her. She doesn't want to get married. Um, and he is a medical student. So she went and spent like the day with him at, spent the day with him at the medical school and was like watching this woman give birth and how the woman seemed like so much in pain. But then Buddy was like, oh, don't worry about it. Like she gets medicine so that she doesn't remember anything. Like, don't worry. And then she makes this observation that I thought it sounded just like the sort of drug a man would invent. Here was a woman in terrible pain, obviously feeling every bit of it or she wouldn't groan like that. And she would go straight home and start another baby because the drug would make her forget how bad the pain had been when all the time in some secret part of her, that long, blind, doorless and windowless corridor of pain was waiting to open up and shut her in again. Wow.
hello so i have been reading the bell jar let me show you how far i am i'm really far and look at that i'm on page 164 chapter 14 I'm really enjoying it a lot, um, but I'm taking a little bit of a break because my packages came in the mail. This very impulsive purchase that I made. Oh gosh, okay. All right, so this is from a collection by Kylie Cosmetics. I've never bought anything from Kylie Cosmetics. Like I've wanted to, I just never have, but um, I never follow her collections or anything. I follow her on Instagram and then she posted this about a collection that came out I saw it and I think it came out like on my payday or something. <laughs> so I was like, oh yes, I'm buying things from this collection. This was made for me. I'm buying things. Look at that. It has like Christmas stickers. Can you, could you see what I got? <laughs> it was a Batman collection. <laughs> I had to. Batman is my favorite superhero and I love like the old school like OG Batman symbols and things. Before I open this, this is like the main thing I'm super excited about is this a makeup bag? Oh gosh, okay let me open it. <gasps> Look at this, it has like old school Batman comics on it. How cool is that? The Batman symbol, the Batman um little zipper. Oh yeah, and it's just black in the inside, but this is gonna be so great to travel with. It's so much bigger than what I have now. I I had to get this. This is so cool. This is like giant and huge and I love this. So this is like, I had to buy this and then I was like, well, let me, since I'm buying things, let me see what else I can get. There's like a big like eyeshadow palette and I think there was eyeliner, but I, got things that I knew I would actually use. So one was this that I'm super excited about, which is a highlighter palette. It looked really pretty. And the color, of course, is Gotham City. I didn't realize it was this big though. And I thought, ooh, oh, okay, it's not, it's not that big, but look at this. Look at this. Look at that. It has Gotham City. Last thing that I got that I thought I would use were a little lip set. First of all, look at this packaging. So pretty. This is, <laughs> I feel like such old school YouTube. Do you remember like the, um, the makeup side of YouTube way back in the day and like makeup collections that come out with, I mean makeup companies that have different collections and they would always show it. This is what I feel like right now. But we have this like clear bluish lip gloss. I just love the packaging with the Batman on it. This one is called Pow. I thought that'd be cute. And then you have this really pretty like pinky peach sparkly color. Um, This is called Bat. And then this one, which I think is gonna be really pretty, fall color is called Catwoman. <laughs> so this was my extremely impulsive purchase, which I like never do things like this. That is what we have. I'm going to go try on um my dress and we can work on my costume if it all looks good and then i will share with you my thoughts on the bell jar in a second <laughs> i'm so scared this is gonna turn out horrible um all right i have the dress on a cheap hanger and yeah the only thing is like i don't know i don't have anything to like hang it up to pour it so i think i'm just gonna have to kind of pour it with one hand i guess okay so i think i showed you all i just got this bottle of blood because i figured this would be the best thing oh that could work okay i'm gonna hang it on that and then i'm, just, I'm gonna take all of this stuff out and you know we're just gonna hope that um if this gets on the glass i can effectively clean it that's what we're gonna hope Okay, well, I think it cut out. Oh, like always, these things never work for me. But um, okay, here's the final product. I added some to the straps. It was like a bloodbath in here. And then I added some to the back. 
yeah, I think it looks good. From what I saw online, I liked, uh oh, I liked the dresses where there was actually not too much blood. It was more subtle on the dress. So I think it's gonna look, yeah, I, I think it's gonna look really good when I do, like it's disgusting on my hands, when I do it on my body and stuff. So I really like it and I can always change. I think it looks so cool. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you guys didn't see me pouring the blood on the dress. That is so annoying. It literally cut off right as I was about to show you me pouring it. Oh well, anyways, I was trying on the Kylie lip thing. So let's talk about the Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Like I said, I am really loving it. I just like got completely swept into the story. Um, the character, Esther, now she's like completely at rock bottom of her mental illness. Um, and there's a lot of trigger warnings in this, which I knew, but like, I didn't know some of them were so explicit. Um, so definitely look things up before you read this if you need that. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's beautifully written. There are some really beautiful scenes and like she will say something and then like a couple chapters later will kind of reference back to it. And I just love that so much. Um, I think it's so smart. All right, so it is now Friday morning. I just ate a little bit of breakfast. I had a virtual meeting really quickly at 8.30. Um, and then I'm getting ready because I have to go take a passport picture. So I think I told you all that I like have a surprise day off today, which is so lovely. So I'm trying to take advantage. Um, I'm gonna go for a drive. If you've seen my channel, you know I love to go for a drive. Listen to some music. Um, I'm gonna drive in the direction of a Barnes & Noble. <laughs> Will I actually stop in? Will I have time? I don't know, because I didn't book my car for too long just because I literally just want to go drive today and then come back home. And then the car, and then walk and stop by the passport place, UPS, I can get my picture taken and ship everything off. So that is the plan. It is like really pretty outside, but I think it's really cold, I don't know. But either way, I'm very excited to go for a drive really quick in the morning. It's gonna be a good time, I think. All right, I'm in my zip car. Um, Let's do this. I'm so excited. I got back a while ago, but I was just eating lunch, relaxing. I started editing a vlogtober. Um, but yeah, it's like two o'clock now and I'm going to sit and try to finish. I don't know if I can. I feel like I don't have that much farther of the bell, which I probably will be able to finish it. And I can come give you all my final thoughts. All right, hello. It is a little bit later. It is time to start getting ready. Um, it is time to start getting ready to go out tonight. I'm so excited. My one of best friends are going out tonight. We're doing this like Halloween bar crawl. I'm going as Carrie and she's going as Rue from Euphoria, which I'm so excited to do her glitter makeup for her. Oh, I'm so happy because she's like the friend that like doesn't really like to dress up for Halloween. She's like, I'll go out, but I'm not, I don't know if I want to dress up. And I was like, no, we gotta do something easy. What about like Rue? Because we both love Euphoria. It's like, what about Rue? Like it's so simple. You just wear, you can just wear like a brown jacket and then we just do like glitter eye makeup. And I convinced her, so I'm very happy about that. But she's gonna be here in probably like an hour or so, 30 minutes, I don't really know. Okay, I did my makeup. It is not showing well on camera, but I want it to like a glittery, Kind of like modern prom look. I think it looks so cool. The only thing is my hairline. <laughs> Gonna have to like fix that. I really like it. So you just gotta add the crown. I 
love it. It is so cool. Okay, yay, I'm so happy. I'll definitely post pictures and stuff, but. All right, hi everyone. It is now Sunday, October 30th. So I went out Friday, which you all saw. It was so much fun. Me and my friend had such a good time on the bar crawl. Um, Saturday, I was recovering. <laughs> Uh, I watched a lot of Gilmore Girls. Really want to finish The Bell Jar. I didn't end it up, I did not end up reading this. Oh no, my battery's flashing. Um, so I'm almost done. So I will also try to finish this today because I'm really enjoying it. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to do before the camera dies is that I have some book mail that I want to open. So this is from Pingo Books, of course. So let's go ahead and do it. What am I getting myself into? <gasps> Oh wow, this cover is gorgeous. This is so pretty. Okay, it is Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. It's going to be my first. Oh, look at how it's so floppy. Oh, that's amazing. Um, this is going to be my first Russian classic. I know it's a thick one to try, but I've been, I discovered this username, Carolyn Marie Reeves, or Carolyn, I don't know the name of her channel. I'll put her here. She reads lots of classics and Russian literature and her channel is really great. And she inspired me, this is her favorite book of all time, to read Anna Karenina. I've been loving my classics recently and I just thought this would be so great and I've been wanting to read some Russian literature like I haven't read any ever in my life. It's chunky, but people absolutely, not only does she absolutely love this book, but like people in general, how they talk about this book, they love it so much. So I really wanna read it. It's over 700 pages. I got this edition because I wanted the mod translation. So this is going to be my winter read, my winter classic. I'm going to take my time reading this. Probably not start it until like December. Right. Hey guys, so I am in the middle of editing this Vlogtober and it happened again. <laughs> I have no idea where one of my clips went. I don't know if I didn't press record when it was when I was recording because I remember making this clip where i was talking about my final thoughts of the bell jar i have no idea what happened to it this is so annoying <laughs> it keeps happening to me so now i'm like extra cautious to make sure it's freaking recording um but yeah i'm here filming another video which you all will see actually before this one is the end of the year book tag and i figure i just come and quickly tell you all my final thoughts on the bell jar because i absolutely loved this so much like Oh, this book like touched my soul. <laughs> I did, this book, yeah, I love this so much. Obviously a five out of five stars. I know I said this, the beginning was a little bit slow and a little bit boring, but it picked up and you just like fell into this world with Esther as she's just descending and her mental health is just declining and you are going along with her in that journey and you feel her like emptiness and oh you just feel everything with her and some of it is just so shocking and so terrible it it, it was just i like i'm like speechless i mean i don't really know how to say my full thoughts because i loved this so much and like the second i finished this i just want it to the second i finished it i just wanted to pick it back up and read it again because i just feel like now that i went through this full journey with esther starting over i don't know i think I, it would be a whole different experience but in like in such a great way and i want to reread this i want to read it like right now i loved it so much i loved it so much um and then at the end when i finished this i was looking up more about sylvia plath's life because i know that she ended up taking her own life and i was reading about that and it was just so heartbreaking and there are some scenes in this that i read that are like taken exactly from her life and she put it in this book and that makes this even more heartbreaking and also incredible that she like wrote this i don't know i loved it so much and as i said before the writing is some of the most beautiful writing that i've ever read i have so many um tabs here so many tabs here of some beautiful quotes and scenes so i'll read another quote just to kind of finish this off so this is obviously towards the end and her mom is like esther don't worry about it we'll just pretend that everything that happened to you was a bad dream and we'll just like forget about it and she says a bad dream to the person in the bell jar blank and stopped as a dead baby the world itself is the bad dream 
a bad dream i remembered everything and then she goes into this paragraph kind of like going over things that happened to her and then she says maybe forgetfulness like a kind snow should numb and cover them but they were a part of me they were my landscape oh I just love this book so much. It's been a while since I've like connected to a book the way I connected to this one. So truly love this. Definitely a contender for my favorite book of the year. It was incredible and I cannot wait to reread this very soon. I don't know when, but it's probably gonna be very soon. It's a very quick read. I highly recommend if you are interested. This was, this was great. And now I'm definitely interested in reading The Unabridged Journals of Sylvia Plath. I want to read that as well. I was just sitting here. Uh, watching YouTube. I was watching Sean McComb. I discovered him a few months ago. He's a booktuber. Um, his videos are so funny and ridiculous. I highly recommend if you haven't uh, discovered him yet. He does have a very distinct humor type. And then I was like, I do feel like reading, but none of my, I don't, I'm supposed to try to be reading spooky books, but none of them are calling to me. For some reason, I'm in the mood for like a dark, love story i don't know why so this book is calling to me cleopatra and frankenstein by coco melor M melors when you get in the mood for a book sometimes you just gotta go for it i really love this cover this artist i just started following them on instagram i don't know her name i'm going to start this and i'll let you all know my thoughts Okay, hello. I have been reading a bit of Cleo and Frank. It's a chapter three, I think, which is like almost 40 pages in. And I am really liking it. Of course, we're just getting everything set up. We have met Cleo and Frank. We had their first meeting and then they got married, which I don't think is a spoiler. That's like the point. <laughs> One of the main plots is that I'm really liking it. I think it's about to start turning and getting dark because there was one last line here at one of, at their ceremony uh frank said this at the end of their little wedding ceremony he said when he finally did speak it was a single sentence when the darkest part of you meets the darkest part of me it creates light i feel like that's a warning right i think things are gonna get All right, hello happy halloween um it is monday I had to work from home today. Um, I was doing my mental health block and it was nice. It actually wasn't too bad today. Um, and then I was just relaxing, enjoying my time before I start the pick you on Wednesday. So it's gonna be long hours again. <laughs> but um, I have not been reading anything spooky. I've just been into my Cleo and Frank book. I'm over the 100 page mark now and like, the thing about this book is that it's it's so entertaining and like interesting and you're following different characters not just following cleo and frank you are following them but you also follow different characters in their lives like their their sister one has this frank has a sister that you follow you're following like cleo's best friend and i'm assuming we're gonna fo follow lots of other characters um so it's like really entertaining and really interesting but it's not like mind-blowing incredible like people claim so i'm really curious if it's just gonna get deeper and darker i don't know but i am really liking it it's like a nice easy entertaining read and like i said i am really enjoying um reading a nice i wouldn't call this lit literary fiction i would call this just contemporary fiction but um yeah i'm enjoying a nice contemporary read the writing is nice um there are some nice quotes in there but yeah i'm enjoying it a lot um but for this Halloween, I know it's not very, um, what's the word, festive. That was this weekend, but today for Halloween, I'm just gonna have a night to myself because I am all socialized out from this weekend. Um, so let's pick a spooky movie. We have to do that at least. Although I will say that I saw on HBO Max that they put Barbarian up to stream and I do wanna watch that, but maybe not tonight. I guess I can be in any time. Wow. 
All right, so I am back now because of course I didn't make an outro to the vlog. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this pretty long vlog. I had a great October. I hope you enjoyed all of my vlogtobers. I read some really great books. I had some fun times, some great memories. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Let me know how your October went. Let me know the, your favorite book that you read in October. I would love to know, and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye.